these are the different MRP procedure which we are going to use in SAP. Okay, so you should go to this slide. Okay, you should have this might be your interview question. What is the difference between consumption based planning and material requirement planning? So major difference process wise is that in MRP, the regular MRP, the MRP is carried out using the current and future sales figure. We have demand, right? From based on that demand, we are having this MRP. But consumption based planning procedure uses historical consumption data to calculate the future requirement. So based on how much you are consuming in the previous month or something like that, here we are having our, you know that our consumption pattern. And based on that pattern, we are going to do procurement, okay? And in automatic real dollar point planning, we are giving the consumption details. So this includes the, okay, so this is based upon your sales order, purchase order and everything. It is based on that. But this is totally depend upon your consumption pattern. So that is the reason it's called as the consumption based planning. So material requirement planning is performed for A class item. Type A means A class item, which is engine or a very higher level component. We discussed yesterday, right? So engine is going to be your A class item. Everybody's clear with the class A, class B, class C item, right? So class A is your low volume, only one quantity, but cost is high. And C class item means quantity is going to be too high, but cost is going to be too low, okay? Like a penny cost. So, so class A or class B item can go with the material requirement planning. And if you are class C items, then you can go for consumption based for class C item, okay? Or B or C also. Sometimes B also you can consider over here. Now, safety stock wise, net requirement calculation is triggered based upon the plan and the exact requirement, okay? Net requirement calculation, do you remember, guys? We have discussed net requirement calculation. If you remember slash NMD4, sure. here, uh, so this is your laptop, okay? Okay, 1000. Here you remember, this is your net requirement calculation. Yes, How much cost? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very much. Yeah. So this is your net requirement calculation based upon plan order and exact requirement. So here you are having order. Now this is your component is raw material. Okay. So let us go to the header component, B14. Okay. So here you are having plan order. Okay. Oh. This is the uh, PIR and here is the plan order. So their calculation is plus minus calculation is net requirement calculation. Okay. So net requirement calculation trigger based on the reorder point or by the forecast requirement calculated by the past consumption data. Okay. So it is depend upon, not depend upon your PIR. It is depend upon your reorder point and forecast requirement. What is the difference between them? That quantity they are going to calculate. Okay. And here we can have ND for no planning. Here have PD for MRP. So main indicator is PD for regular MRP majorly. Here we can have VB, VM or VB forecast based planning. Okay. So mostly VB and VM, these are going to be used. Okay. So these are the major difference between uh, your MRP and consumption based planning. This could be your interview question. What is different type of MRP procedure you are aware of which type of MRP you have worked. So you can talk about material requirement planning and you are about consumption based planning. In that consumption based, there are two types. One is the reorder point planning. Second is manual order point planning and another is the automatically order point planning. Okay. So this is going to be your interview question. Okay. This call is going to close in one minute. Uh, let us connect on a second invite. Okay. I will send you the invite for there. Okay, Tim.